is the 1878 Casuals. Wagwan <laughs> is your man Sinatra once again. Brought to you by Terrace Colt and Moo Moo Mia. I got the maddest face in all of LA, actually in all the land, to be honest with you. And yeah. LA's top one, Mikey the Moocher, Bandito. So after the disappointing result at the weekend versus Arsenal, I mean, the lads thought it would be appropriate to kind of touch on the midseason, where we're at, where we kind of see things going. If we've you know changed our opinions from our very first video way back in what was it August, so you know it's 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 tough start to the you know beginning of the campaign, but we, we kind of got ourselves into a groove. So how do you see us, Mikey? Yeah. So after the after the match uh, against Arsenal, I, you know I, I didn't want to focus on the on the loss and the, the mistakes in the game and all that kind of thing. My mind kind of went to like, okay, we just played the the top team on the table and the best team in the league, in my, in my opinion. And we played, um, you know, minus uh, our best player of the season. And we, we played him to the 90th minute um, with, you know, with, you know, children on the bench who weren't really going to make an impact on the game. And players in positions that weren't really going to make an impact on the game. So, so naturally, my mind kind of went to, okay, we we just battled it out with the top of the table for ninety minutes, and uh, we're we're in a good place. It's like this is a, a, a one of the things I said. You talked about our, our first video. Of like one of the things you want to see is a team that's likable, a team that's like, oh yeah, you know, you really get behind these guys and. And this is a team of characters, and they're 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 really likable. You know, you Licha and Casemiro and Rashford, and, um, guys that you you know you want to see do well, and you you know you wanna you want to see this team go out and, and work together. So, uh, you know that that box is is ticked. This is a really likable squad. Um, yeah, midseason. So. You know, back when we did our first video, I said United, I predicted would be about sixth, you know, maybe maybe seventh. Um, compared to that, I mean, we we're Ten Hag has done a fantastic job in in, you know, in six months, such a short period of time. Um, Face, you mentioned, you know, even Henri is like. You saying you know this is a, a team that battled against a you know a club that's had three years to build and you've had six months and it looks really good, um, yeah. So uh, uh, some some real challenges, you know, uh, not a lot of depth, not a, not a lot of squad depth. I like our our eleven against anybody's eleven, um, so. I think the boss has handled a lot of the controversies and big decisions that have come out to the, to the halfway point. You know, we had benching of uh, McGuire, the Ronaldo saga, um, you know, how he's handled even, you know, Garnacho it was rumored that he was, you know, missing meetings or being late to meetings, Marcus Rashford, so on and so forth. You know, I think he's got all of these big decisions, right? Uh, he's not, He's not slagging off his players, you know, but he is ho holding people accountable at, and himself. So we were not sure about, you know, what it was going to be with uh, Ten Hag, but uh, this is as good as we could think. You know, this is this is really, really good. So midway season, uh, we're sitting fourth. Um We've got more, you know, more points than we we think we would have, you know, at this point in the season. It's a likable squad. You can see a style of play. Um, and look, look, look who we beat already. You know, I, I, we went on a, a massive run. We beat Liverpool. We beat Arsenal. We beat City. We beat Spurs. Um, and we've had this run of games at Old Trafford where people are not coming in, walking in, and get getting three points on us or a point on us. So at this point, you got to be happy. Uh, I know I am. It's 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 the feeling is back. It's it's like these 
how long has it been since, you know, United Arsenal was like a big game where it meant something at the top of the table. You know, it's been a, it's been a long time. So um, really happy to, to see it and, and looking forward to see what, you know, what the second half brings. So, so face, <clears throat> if you, if you're giving out grades, where are we standing? A through F. What marks are you giving us? <laughs> let's go. It's, let's go A through A. Um, first of all, like Bandito, I was. I had. I wanted to see effort. I just wanted the team to play hard all the time. That was my only thing I wanted out of Ten Hog. But that's like a yeah. that's like a minimum for you. Yeah, right? but I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but that's all I wanted. <laughs> I, I was I, I was I asking I, that wasn't too much to ask for, but you guys know too much. after what last been through, yeah. To, to be fair, especially after last season, was that not the worst uh, you've seen in your lifetime? So in fairness, yeah, yeah, in, in my fairness, lifetime, in my lifetime, yeah, yeah. I think we earned stripes because remember, people were like, you know, become a true supporter until you see your team at the bottom, but just going through the shit and just. <laughs> uh, and I was like, well, we earned it, boy. You know, but um, yes, Ten Hag has instilled. Um, I like that he says uses words like character, standards, um, and that has to be the way you are. And I think he's finding out a lot about people. I think um, he's going way above Call of Duty. I the only I, I just can't believe the job he's doing because he's juggling so many things, and he's dealing with so many fragile pieces and he's like here hold this band-aid and take this pill and just do what i tell you to do and everybody's functioning when they play um the effort though is spectacular the arsenal game i was proud um, that's all i'm going to say about that game i was proud and i saluted but uh he's done a fantastic job i'm going to give him a a solid a I think that when people, when you have a, a gaffer like this, this is a generational human being. I'm sorry. We've all seen greatness. And the way he's juggling is a young Fergie. He's just said, this is how it's going to be for everybody. It's all falling in line. But he's, he, has a, he has an anchor. And it's everybody but him. <laughs> it's, it's everybody but him. I'm telling you, America, I'm telling you, Reds, this man is, I'm just inspired. I feel like I should be doing more in life. I feel like his standards have come back to me. We've lowered our standards so much over time, we forgot. This is our DNA. A plus. Solid A. Solid A cheating A. A. Cliff Notes A. Everything A. I'm, in, so, I'm impressed. Where where on the pitch would you say we've improved the most? Attacking, a forward attacking. I, um, just because it's so it's so heavy Rashford right now, which is great, but just help him somebody. Somebody. <laughs> and someone consistently. That's all it is, but we need depth in the midfield. We need, I, I don't want to say position, we just need depth. It's great that we have young kids and they were like, oh yeah, but we shouldn't have to be depending on teenagers. No, no. Not hey, if you want to win. Hey, but you know what? Arsenal's depending on teenagers. In fairness, hey, Saka, Martinelli, Nikita, there's some young boys out there that are running rag. All over the Premier League. Yeah, so those names you just said. And if you're young enough, you're good enough. Who said that? Matt Busby? If you're good enough, you're old enough, whatever it was. That's that's the line. That's what it is. I'm just going to go to Gaffer seeing something that he's like, I can't do it yet. You know. Yeah, I think in fairness, like, for example, it would have been really – might have been detrimental, but it's not really fair to throw in Kobe Mainu in a in a in a game like that, a seventeen year old, and say you know go you know go out and play against. But, but Garnacho should have came on earlier though. No. Well, here's the thing about that. Um, you didn't. That's not where you needed to affect, to affect the game. You needed to affect the game in the midfield, right? 
Yeah. You're, if you bring our nacho on, you're still just chucking long balls and, and hoping for a, a counter. Um, the only difference is he gets away from from somebody where Beghorst was almost just taking up space, right? But I see your point. I see. I see your point where we didn't have anybody breaking up, a, you know, attacks like you would hope McTominay could do in place of Casemiro. Yeah. So I think as a as a as a mid season evaluation. It's obviously, you know, the levels drop off once you start looking at the the second eleven or the bench. Even though we've been really surprised by some 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 players like Aaron Wampasaka. Um that's one thing, you know, uh the bosses got right, whereas developed players, but there's still the consistency and having, you know, solid runs of games is is not quite there. Um, real quick, were you actually what grade was I giving Ten Hog or the team? All of it. Oh. I'm going to let Mikey finish. Sorry, Mikey. Because Go ahead. The stage is yours. Thoughtful one. I, I, I can't say – I'm going to say a high B plus. I just have high standards now. Um, we're still mentally not locked in. We're not mentally strong yet. Well, he ta- he touched on that after the match, which which was yeah. impressive that he was like, listen, you know, we're, we're still not in the... My halftime report, all I did was complain about Aaron Wampasaka making that mental error and letting the, the, off- the, the, the offensive player cross his face. And I was like, you can't do that. You just can't do that. I played DB. Remember, I went to the American football shit. I said, you just can't do that. You can't so, get face that. Yeah, and so he mentally checked out and cost us a goal. And yeah, I, I think, like I think the margin of error in that in that match, we touched on the Arsenal match, like all five goals were somebody's error. Yes. Right? So, um, the and one, high class goals too, no less. That's, I that's mean, like rockets, rockets, it was still rockets. a lot to do. But yeah, it was an error, right? So Erickson didn't get tight enough to Saka, uh, Arsenal lost the ball in their, you know, and their, uh, and their third, and you know, Rashford with a great goal, and then you know the the keeper fumbles it for you know Leach had to clean up, and then the the two we turned off, you know, we just turned off on an overload. Who was mine that Rashi put on his backside? Rashi <laughs> hit it with a dun dun. My man, I thought he blew his shit out. Like, oh, it's blow the blood clot. Everything gone. Rashi just disposed of him like, wait a minute. Uh-uh. Wait, almost <laughs> like blood scene. <laughs> the and then the goalie yeah. had to make a special play. The goalie had to be like, oh, shit, it's going in. You never saw an Englishman do an elastic code before, have you? <laughs> he did with the did that to that. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. That was, if that goal would have been it, it would have been goal of the year because – he just like he treated him like, what are you doing in front of me? Do you know who I am right now? Well, he he's he dropping party. he's dropping defenders. It's it's beautiful. He makes it. he make party on that on that goal, right? That's why he's no Casemiro. That you know, Mikey, you asked you know where have we improved the most on the pitch, and you just said it right there, man. Because the levels that dropped off without him, what a signing! Maybe the best signing we've made in. The last fifteen years, I, I mean, and, not even. And it, was, no. it, it didn't go yeah. without controversy. It didn't go without controversy, but you know, I was, I, Sorry, I was at the Mike. pub talking to some lads at the pub. I was like, honestly, name two players in the world that are his peer, and you can't, you can't name one, you can't name two. Casemiro, it, it's him, and he's at the peak. And so to have him in the squad um, is, is you know, we haven't had what do you think somebody. About that, Mikey? Yeah, I mean, uh, I I was talking to some people who, uh, some some uh, Madrid supporters, some Barcelona supporters. So imagine someone who supports, I don't know, Atletico ask you, you know, how good is De Bruyne, you know, and you're, you know, you don't want to do it, but you're like, oh, he's class, you know, like these Barcelona fans just, you know, just, you know, giving the praise to Casemiro and and and, and this. 
Can you imagine having Busquets in your team? Of course, he's <laughs> loaded some Casemiro. I, I was someone who was I was I was dead wrong too. You know, I was like, yeah, he's just gonna clean it up at the back and put in tackles. And I didn't know about these, you know, these passes in his locker and and you know, you know about the, yeah, the, the the leadership and the standards that he has. Um, and, and he's not know, a mercenary; like he's, he's loving he's life in Manchester. It so it's up. He's it's done it almost all. Like so I was listening to Andy Mitten from United We Stand, who, who so he speaks Spanish, so he's he's often the guy who interviews Casemiro, and he's talking about you know his life in Manchester, and his, his family here, and he's like the, the guy just he's done it all, and he was you know he sees Real Madrid has brought these young players in, and he's like okay this is this is a chance for me to you know to go to play in, in England, and, and you know I talked to Fred, and I talked to you know. Uh, Scouser for Mino and these guys from the national team and and what it's like to play there and let's let's give let's give it a go you know it's just like yeah he's he's very to the fact too like they're like who's your favorite team he's like I grew up liking this club but I'm professional whatever team I play for that's my favorite team I'm like, <laughs> good plot. I was like wrong plot. <laughs> I like but that, this that's dude. Let's let's touch touch on that uh, part of the uh, part of the uh, evaluation or the you know is how the transfers have done. Mm. What do you think? Let's let's hear from Sinatra. What do you what do you think of our our, our tra- the boss's transfers? So Casemiro, obviously a plus 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 plus. Um, Malasia, you know. He's he's been up and down, but I he he's been a B. You know he he surprised me in a few matches where I'm like you know there's something there. You know it 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 feels like with all of Ten Hogs buys, there's a plan where it felt like in the past maybe it wasn't the player that even the manager wanted. You know what I mean? And so, Malasia has been great. Um, Anthony, I think, is also you know. I, He's getting a lot of criticism because we paid so much money for him, but honestly, Not he's been great. He, he's he's scored a fair amount of goals for his position, um, especially with a guy that's you know really only showing one foot. You know, yeah, you, you would think that if if he didn't have that price tag, he wouldn't be playing so many games. No, yeah, you know, and and Ten Hag obviously has a plan for him, and you know, um, but he's been fantastic, Leecha. Another A plus cool. plus, man. I mean, the butcher is just different sauce. It be just different, different sauce. He, he's one of those heart and soul kind of kind of players, right? He definitely it's, is generational. Yeah, he's he. You, you can't sing his praises enough. And what I love the most is that his goal was a header, and it was all in Graham Sunis's ass. That was that one was for Graham <laughs> Sunis. Like, yeah, have that. Hey, have the Real Madrid fans slot. A Real Madrid fan said to me today, they're like, what's up with his head? Why is he all bands up and beat up? I said, someone busted his head the last match. He didn't give a fuck. He kept on playing. Nope. I said he was bloody. He got black eyes. I'm like, this is not no, this is not no play play thing. This is this is real gunman time. This is a gunman. This is a road guy. He's on the roads. He doesn't fuck around. And He's my on the moment, <laughs> The moment of the season, too, with him was um, – was when we were playing Chelsea, right? And was it like Mount or somebody was like getting his face and Shaw was like, no, mate, nah, this ain't the one. This ain't, this ain't the one. Turn, right, you turn don't around. want these problems, dog. <laughs> you don't want this. This is the smoke you don't want. So, you don't want this. He's a guy. He's a guy out there. He's a real guy. Real guy. I just there. go go and continue, though. You, you, you're doing a good. You took us on so a nice trip. There's uh, Erickson. Erickson. Um, um three. Uh, that's another What's one. Big? I mean, What's he's, a grade? you know what? I, I'm going to give him a B also because there's been a few matches where like his defensive deficiency have shown because we're playing him a little out of position. Like we're playing him as an eight. He's really a 10, but because of that football brain, he's just, you know, utter, utter class. And so he can slot in there and still be effective. And honestly, we got to have a guy that's, kind of, you know, making the team tick. And, I, you know, perfect partner for Casemiro at this time. But I think in the summer we're going to have to make another upgrade there. But right now, Erickson is is doing the job. 
I think that he's another player that you wouldn't think would be like a, a, a you know, 90 minute every game. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, he almost so, died. He almost died. And so we're sitting here like, can he pass the medical? You know, can he go 90? You know, well, we're, can he we're, play every we're, match? And we're looking at Ten Hag like, Listen, man, if, we're if he really goes out on the our, pitch again, that's on you. We're really showing our, our lack of uh, depth when we depth, when yeah. have to play players. Okay. Um, what would you give our depth grade? Interesting question. Our what? A depth grade. A depth. What would you grade our that? Our, a um, D. A D. Wait, no, wait. I, yeah, I think it's a, a C at the moment. You just uh, – Wanda so Saga has come on. Wanda, Wanda has come on. He's done a job, but he's not, you know, he's has some deficiencies. Uh, Fred he's has come, come along. On. He's Fred come along, come though. On. Fred has come on and had some really good games, but just not consistently. Um, McTominay, yeah, he's 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 not having a great year. He's not. He's not. Uh, he's still hiding from from the ball. When we need him to receive it on a half turn, and, and that. So, uh, and then we've had, you know, some other issues with, uh, with players. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's not a great amount of depth, but um, it's nice to see uh, Garnacho surprise and 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 be this young player who's uh, got so much potential and so much fun to watch and just no fear. And uh, you love to see that in your young players. I would treat him like every match, I got to give him like 15 minutes. Every match, like, I just got to get an option 15 minutes somewhere. Just give him 15 minutes somewhere. Just, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to tell him what to do. Oh, shit. Forgive me, sir. Ten Hog, have you ever seen this? <laughs> I'm never telling you what to do. I just, he's got to start. He's got to start Wednesday, though, right? He, he Garnacho. gets me. He has a good starting. Like everything is now. I need to score now. Get an assist now. I got to listen. Give me the ball now. I'm gone. Like, and I don't know. We got to treat Anthony like how we treat Martial. Give him that much time. Okay, so refocusing now to the second half of the season. What kind of realistic uh, achievements or goals or, or, or position do you want to see United in? So top four is very real, very real. I, I think we can finish as high as second, but realistically, I think we're going to be third, probably third. But, you know, Newcastle, they're having a great year. It, it's going to be a tough battle, but I think realistically we're we're a top four side. And and we can win. We can win this League Cup. We can, we can win a cup or two, honestly. I mean, I, I think that's a fair expectation. And I think as – far as this team's come from the last couple of seasons, even when we finished in the top four and been a million points, you know, off the, you know, first, it's not going to go that way this season. And um, I, I feel like the, the, what, as far as this team's come, they deserve some silverware. Okay. So you're looking at league, league cup would be the most likely. League Cup. I think yeah. we can win Europa League, and I think we can win the FA Cup. But I don't think we we're, we're. It's not going to be a Mickey Mouse treble. I don't. I don't think we've got enough depth for that. But I think we can. It's realistic we can win two. I think we're going to win at least one. But I think we can win two. I'm. Uh, uh, I truly believe we're going to get top four, and we're going to win a cup. That's it. You think? Uh, yes. What, what would you like to see be uh, prioritized? Europa. Europa League? Okay. I know we're getting top four. I want to win Europa. I like winning it now. I think it's gangster. Like, yeah, we went to Transylvania, nigga. Oh, my mouth. <laughs> like, we, we, we were in Bucharest. What's up? We won some crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah, we're wild. Yeah. We're crazy. We're crazy. And the last too. Europa League final was very disappointing, was it and not? That means, yeah. And that would mean we beat in Barcelona on the way to it. That just wants to give me a little personal joy. I just want yeah, to beat really, Barcelona. Really tough tie coming up on, on that one. Oh, yeah, for me, for me, I think I know that we're going to lose games. We're going to drop points. It's 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 not all going to be you know the run of ten. Um, I think top four is 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 achievable. I think that's 
what what we're gonna do. And I think we win League Cup. I would like to see us make a maybe a semifinal or in a FA Cup. And then if we can get past this tricky tie, Barcelona, I would like to see us do this kind of do the same, like make a good run, semifinals, see what happens in uh in Europa League. So um I think those are realistic expectations. So hopefully, uh, you know, we've got so many matches and uh, the World Cup really fucked up the... Uh, Boy, we got matches. So it'll be interesting to see if, if we if we hit a wall with, uh, you know, just this this amount of, of, of matches. All right, so we got about three minutes left. Quick preview for the Forest match on Wednesday. What's your, what's your starting 11? You got to have Casemiro oh, back to the team. What? That's quick. Three minutes? Starting 11s? Who? Quick. Go, go. Give me your 11. Go. Casemiro's right. He's back in the squad, right? Got to be yeah, right back Casemiro's in. Yeah, just take Casemiro's brain. That's all I'm going to say. Casemiro. Garnacho? <laughs> it's going to be <laughs> – no, it's going to be uh, Heaton and uh, uh, 10 Casemiro's. That's it. That's 10 Casemiro's. Yeah. yeah, 10 Casemiro's. So instead of so we're not going to we're no Chester longer going to see too, Yeah, I was gonna say no more no more twelve Cantonas. It's gonna be twelve Casemiro. <laughs> That's funny as hell. <laughs> hey, uh, eight, eighteen seventy. Are you asking me a question? First, ladies guys? and gentlemen, I'm. I listen. I had a little. He's drinking. He's smoking. This is the adult. This is the this is actually the man show. We're taking over the man show. We're sorry, sorry to uh, Adam Carolla and Jimmy Kimmel. This is the new man show. So, so what? for all our good friends out there, YouTube land, get in the comments. <laughs> Every, yeah, comment like the tribe. Every comment gets read. You know what? Yeah, what are your good. expectations? What are your evaluations this season so far? You see they want to see girls in bikinis. That's what they want. They want girls in bikinis. And Tell well, we... me why I suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should do that. We should do not, you know, mid-season of us. Evaluate us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a mid-season review of us. Not sure, <laughs> we want to, not, not sure we want to know about that. <laughs> I, do. I do. I want to know. For me, tell me. You can't hurt my feelings. Fun. All right. Good Take times. Good, good times coming. I'm telling okay. you. Good times. Less than a minute. Take us away. You can say the casuals, we love you guys for the support. The people that have supported. Tell your cousin. Tell your auntie. Tell your neighbor. Tell your man, man. As long as they support United. If not, tell them anyway. We're out. Terrorist called Mumamiya. Blazers out. Yeah.